absolutely crazy when I wake up in the morning. I don't know how these people wake up and they look just flawless in the morning. It's no, not happening over here because my hair just goes crazy. Good morning. I'm doing a morning to night routine type of day. I'm also going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day. High protein, gut healthy, realistic. We're just going to have a day. So let's get into it. Make sure you guys subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Lately, I've been just getting straight out of bed so I can rinse off my face, put my cream on since it has to sit for 15 minutes so that it doesn't delay the rest of my morning. start out the skincare we're gonna start with the acne cream that I'm on for my dermatologist which update I actually have a treatment tomorrow it's a it's called like a hydro plus treatment it's basically facial with medicine though not just like a spa facial that you go to my journey with my skin has been doing amazing I'm really happy with the progress this is the morning one that I'm gonna be putting on it's called erythromycin 2% it's a topical gel and I just put this on slightly over just the affected areas which are mainly like my cheek areas and while this is on my face for 15 minutes i'll get ready okay i'm gonna wear these leggings and this little crew neck top that just has malibu on it because i believe we're gonna go to the gym later so i just want to also kind of be ready so this sets me up for success <laughs> My go-to for getting ready every day is just brow gel, curling my lashes, and putting on mascara. Let's do a little slick back bun tutorial this morning. So you're gonna need two hair ties. That's what I do for the best secure result. And I have this spray bottle and I have this kind of brush so because my hair was already up I'm gonna keep it in the same position for the most part I'm gonna spray and I'm gonna use the brush to go over and smooth out everything this type of brush is great for smoothing things out today my hair is cooperating but if you find that the hair is not cooperating while you're brushing it also spray a little bit of hairspray directly on the brush or on your hair wherever and it'll really help smooth it out sometimes i like to do a little part but today i'm just going to do it all the way slick back and then i'm going to take one of the hair ties and this and just do a ponytail tighten it so here's what it looks like and then we're gonna twist we're gonna secure the other one in place. And it actually looks pretty slick, but I'm gonna take some hairspray and I'm gonna spray on the brush. Smooth everything out. And then I also take some on my hand, as weird as that is, and I like press it into my head. Lastly, just something that I've been doing is I take the Bumble and Bumble Repair Styling Cream, take a little, little bit of this, and then also flatten it out. So I feel like it also adds a little bit of hydration to it, helps it get a slick, kind of like when people do hair masks or putting their hair up. My slick bun. Super easy and cute. on these this is now i think my third bottle i'm part of a subscription where they just mail it to you automatically when you're about to run out because i think it's a 30 day supply before i make breakfast i want to show you guys some of my favorite gluten-free snacks desserts whatever these are really good they're cinnamon coffee cake muffins there's one left and my mom will probably have that with her coffee today they have double chocolate as well and then these are really good they're their sunflower seed butter cups and as you can see here it's gluten-free soy free all that stuff and then simple mills another one of my favorite brands for gluten-free stuff they have crackers too these are their almond flour cookies Cho regular chocolate chip delicious 10 out of 10 for baking so they have this chocolate muffin and cake mix never tried this one i'll keep you guys updated but i've tried their banana one i've tried their pumpkin one and speaking of baking we have all these bananas that are getting ripe at the same time so maybe me or my mom will make something with these today and for baking from scratch this is the best baking flour that i've used it's the bob's red mill one to one baking flour.
Okay, here is the breakfast bowl. So we have scrambled eggs with spinach with zucchini, which I used to eat a lot at my other job that I was at and I saw them at the market. So I picked them up. So we got some zucchini, then a sausage patty, and then some avocado and a little bit of cottage cheese for added protein, really balanced. And yummy. Yeah, I usually I would have a side of blueberries, but I just finished them. make myself my latte now i'm actually out of the blue bottle espresso which i need to go to target hopefully friday to get more but i'm just going to be using this which is actually it's not terrible it's not my favorite my parents drink this one on my to-do list actually i need to get the descaling fluid This tumbler to go is from Amazon. All my coffee must-haves are on my Amazon storefront. And look what we have here. <laughs> New milk. And I've been having it since Saturday so far. So good. I actually like how it tastes. Let's do a taste test. Mm-hmm. I'm getting ready to start my work day kind of been filming a little bit of stories for instagram that's usually what i do when i first start my day is post on instagram i was putting my camera on the tripod and i dropped my camera on my toe honestly so annoyed about it but the camera's fine my toe is fine today is april 17th and i cannot believe how fast time is flying and also mother's day is right around the corner and it kind of slipped my mind a little bit not gonna lie and if you're looking for gift ideas i think you should start with jewelry because i think it's easy it's timeless it's gonna last them a really long time and who doesn't love jewelry so you're welcome you don't have to think that hard this year because annalisa is the best place to get jewelry that is number one affordable so you won't have to break the bank and number two the quality is going to last for years because they do not tarnish i actually have this ring which I've had for years still in amazing condition and I'm a gold jewelry girl and I'm so happy that this has not tarnished and I don't take them off to wash my hands you know I'm constantly washing my hands especially when I'm cooking doing things this one right here I think my mom actually might really love so I might get a similar design to this I love the simplicity of this bracelet that I have on also from Annalisa and I love these type of styles because they're so timeless and classic and you can never go wrong with a simple bracelet like that especially to stack with others if you want to give earrings a necklace rings and a bracelet that would be the best gift yet but whatever their preferences is you will definitely find something for them on the Anna Luisa site because they have such versatile designs and you'll 100% find what you're looking for she's not a big necklace wearer so I wouldn't get her necklace but she also does love earrings and rings also I know Mother's Day is right around the corner so don't worry because in the US they have a free shipping and fast shipping the pieces that I got came so quick within a few days so definitely place those orders and also so you don't have to worry about anything they do have a two-year warranty be sure to shop using the link that's in my description box you can save some extra money on their already affordable jewelry happy early mother's day to all and thank you so much Anna Luisa for sponsoring this portion in today's video I've been on my computer doing work all morning slash afternoon. It's one, about to be 1.40. So I'm gonna make lunch now. And for lunch today, I have leftover grilled chicken. So I have two pieces of chicken that's in the fridge, which I need to heat up. But first I'm letting the water boil. I'm gonna be making some penne with it. This is gonna be my first time trying the Char brand of pasta, but I usually like Ronzoni one has good one. Jovial has great gluten-free pasta as well. And even the Barilla brand, this is the brand that I get my gluten-free bread from that i like and this actually also has some protein which is good because as you guys know that i said making sure that i'm just getting in protein in every meal i didn't have the apple so i'm gonna have it probably after lunch as a little snack okay lunch is ready i did a little tiktok showing as well because i've been doing kind of like meal ideas this was my mom's probably her best grilled chicken she's made and update i like the pasta and this will definitely keep me full until dinner which might end up being pasta again usually i don't like to do that but there's days where it happens and so be it gonna do an at-home workout today of 
course I forgot to film dinner. Clearly I ate good. So upset I forgot to freaking film my dinner, but we had spaghetti with these little sausage and it was good. I'm getting ready to sleep. It's 9.45, which is the perfect time. I did my, oh, hair in my mouth, little hair routine tonight, my curly hair routine. I'll put the creams that I used on the screen right here. I also already have a video up on TikTok. My hair is gonna be curly and I sleep like an absolute maniac. When my hair's like this, I just <laughs> let it be. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I feel like it was very all over the place and I'm so upset that I forgot to show dinner. I'm so sorry about that. But I definitely wanna do more of these what I eat in my vlogs and stuff. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that and comment this emoji if you stay to the end. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already and I hope you guys all have a great day whenever you're watching.